Hello, uh, I have done some modifications to my tank to be able to run it FPV style but I didn't use the regular transmitter and receiver I instead used a Raspberry Pi and a 4G LTE modem so this is how I control it I have written a little program I can pull it from my computer using the keyboard and now Oscar will help me take it outside and here is the first try and it works great Uh, but uh, one thing with the keyboard is it's not proportional the keys so uh, in the future it will be better if I can control it with a, a joystick or something Yeah, and I tried the uh, different uh, resolutions and frame rates and stuff and here I run 640 by 480 20 FPS and uh, I get under 0 0.1 seconds of lag so and for a ground vehicle that's uh, acceptable I think But I would like to have it geared down in the future perhaps, so I have more control over the speed. But as I said before, this is uh, FPV over 4G LTE, so this could, now it's just outside where I live, but it could equally well be in the in another part of uh, of the world that have a, a cellular network so that's the good thing i have uh, almost unlimited range or at least where there is uh, 3g or 4g coverage Yeah, this is how it looks. Now I'm gonna open it and show you what's uh, inside. In the front there you can see it's a wide angle pie cam. So if you're gonna make something with a pie cam, FPV, get a wide angle. The regular one is very narrow and doesn't work at all for that purpose, is my opinion. Yeah, in the front there you can see a Raspberry Pi Zero W so I can control it over Wi-Fi or I also have uh, yeah as you can see here the Pi is connected to the speed controller and the back here 
they have the 4G LTE modem so now the Raspberry Pi connects to that modem it's Wi-Fi and battery powered it lasts 10 hour on a charge and that's connected the Raspberry Pi connects to my home router over VPN so that's how I do it goodbye